days without water and long the sun so grow. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you are new here, hi, my name is Ketura and I love sharing aspects of my home and lifestyle with you guys. Now in today's video guys, I'm here back in my small entryway and I am going to be showing you how you can style a small console table like this one in a small entryway to make it elegant yet functional. So if this is something that tickles your fancy, I invite you to keep watching and see how the space turns out. So guys, the first thing that I did was to add this mirror. Now I think that every entryway needs a mirror. Now this mirror is going to serve several functions. Number one, um, according to aesthetic purposes, it serves as contrast against the canvas. But more functionally, it serves as a way to check oneself before stepping out the door or even greeting someone at the door. And it also serves, since this is a, 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 a really small space, it also serves as a way to bring in more light and to give an appearance of a larger space. So I'm going to now take you and bring you over to this side so that you can see a different angle when you look into the mirror. So hold on. So looking at the looking through the mirror from this angle, you are able to see the kitchen and the and the kitchen table. So you are able to get a, a like a a wider view of the space. And in my apartment, I have just one one door and one window, so I I don't get that much light coming in here. So the the um, the mirror serves as a way of filtering in more light, and it's giving it an appearance of, of being larger or being airier. Okay, so the next piece I am going to add to the table is this bouquet of florals. And again, I am taking into, the, into account the fact that the table is small and narrow. So I'm also looking at the size of the vase and I'm choosing to place it here in the middle. I'm going to place it right here in the middle of the mirror. Okay, so we have the lamp going on on that side and the next piece that I'm going to add is going to balance out that side. And the florals, including the lemon picks, they are from, they all are from Dollarama and the vase is from Home Sense. Okay guys, so the next pieces that I'm going to add are storage boxes and I'm adding them with more function in mind. So I'm going to place this one here. I'm going to place this one over here like that. Okay, so when you're dealing with a small space, you want the pieces that you choose, you want them to be, or you want them to serve double duty or even triple duty as much as possible. 
because you have to think of the size of the space that you have that, that you're dealing with. So while these offer an aesthetic look, pleasing to the eye and everything, they also serve a purpose of storage. So in here you can choose to put whatever little knickknacks that you don't want seen around the place. For example, if you have a dog and you know you can store the, the leash for the dog, the poop bags and all these things, you can store them inside of here and so on. Your keys, your sunglasses, and if it's during the winter, your um what do you call that, your gloves, stuff like that. That just stuff them inside of here. So they serve as decor and they also serve as storage, making it functional. Elegant, but also functional. Okay, so the next thing to add a bit of beauty or a bit of, of elegance to the space, I am going to add some candlesticks. Here they are. I'm going to place this one here and this one here. Now, I personally, I like my things to be practical. I like easy access. So, in a in my own personal situation, I wouldn't do something like that because for me, I would find myself having to remove the candle each time to be able to access whatever I want from the boxes. But everybody is different. For some people, it's not a problem to do that. But for me, my reality is I wouldn't do that. But I'm just showing you how you can make beauty meet function in a small space. So I'm adding these two pieces here. So over on this side, you can choose to add a candle that you can actually burn. These over over here, I'm not gonna burn them. I would suggest that you burn them because it's just too close to the florals. You have to think of safety all the time. So I choose to add a candle here where you can burn because the candle is going to offer ambience and it's going to offer make the place smell warmer and inviting to your guests to your own self. But to make it even a little bit more functional, um, sometimes, and I'm, and I'm talking about my everyday experience, my reality, most times I will keep this piece here. This piece, this marble piece. Now, this piece I got from Home Sense a good number of years ago. So most times I would have, I would keep it here, and it serves as decor, but it also serves as storage for me in terms of housing my keys. So when I walk in, I drop my keys in here, and no one is the wiser because if you don't ask, then you will know that my keys are in here. So when you living in the small space, think of function. All the same thing, try to make it as practical as possible, as practical, as accessible as possible. So, next, I'm just adding these two coffee table books to this shelf. And again, this one is serving more or less aesthetic purposes. Now, for this area, here I have a vase here, but to, to make the space more functional, I'm going to remove the vase and I'm going to add a basket in its place. So this is the basket, and this basket, of course, is going to serve double duty. You can use it for storage or you can use it for um, aesthetic purposes. You can add a pillow to it or a blanket or whatever just to add a bit of more decor to the space. So you can keep it like that. 
Okay. Now guys, finally, there's a concept called negative space or white space, which means that not every space has to have something in it or not every wall has to have something on it because as much as the, the addition of decor helps to beautify the space, the negative space, leaving a space empty or leaving a wall empty also adds to the overall look of the space. So with that said, I'm choosing to leave that open area. I'm choosing to leave it blank. I'm choosing to leave it empty. So that is going to balance out everything. So guys, this is it, my version of how you can style a small console table in a small entryway to make elegance meet function. I want to thank you so much guys for sticking it out with me. Thank you for staying right through to the end. I would ask that you give a thumbs up to the video and that you would consider subscribing if you have not yet already done so. Please. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what your thoughts and your feelings are about this one. Thank you so much, guys. Take care of yourselves as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.